Hi there, it's Ellie here from EllieWilby.com and today I want to show you how to set up and download and access Asana um, because I think it's a great tool that, you know, if you don't know too much about it then this is going to sort of teach you the basics. I'm going to go over the layout and setting up a project, um, having conversations, um, setting up tasks, setting up your calendar, um, all of those things so that you can use it. So I'm just going to Google Asana um, and you can just find it here and click on it um, and sign in. Hopefully it doesn't sign in for me. Oh, it does. Um, so uh, log me straight in, but it's really as simple as logging in and um, starting a project so you get a blank screen um, obviously this is not a blank screen when you sign in but you get um, I'll just go through the layout of the page so that you know what you're working with essentially um, there you can have projects and tasks now you can also invite people into your projects um, so I'm just going to show you how to set up, a, no, I'm going to show you the layout first. On this side is all of the projects that you can have. So here's um, at the top, there's always the dashboard and you can set it up to have a graph if you're sort of into the project management side of things um, or not. Um, and the main projects that you have. See, I just clicked on that one there and it's kind of set me up as one big project and under that I have all of these smaller projects which is fine so in here it might list all the conversations the ones that I haven't responded to um, and anything else there or I can access the same stuff as over here I can also view calendar um, which in this one because um, I haven't set dates in there um, is basically just laid out like that um, by month usually um, default is by month um, so if you want to set up a new project you can either click up here um, to start a new project or over here start a new project uh, so let's click this one and we can call it um, Let's do product development um, and I can either share it with someone or private to me. Now if it's private to me then this part over here um, doesn't allow me to share it with anyone in the future. Um, so if I click here um, in the future I can share it with people if that's appropriate um, and I can create a project. So it's really as easy as that um, and then I can add a task or add a section. Um, now to just show you what a task in a section is, if I click on this one, um, a website here is a section. Oh, look, I've just clicked on it and then the details of that section come up. Um, so these are all the tasks underneath there that are set up um, under there. So under each one of these tasks, I can go into this other panel, which is kind of where the detail is kept and um, I can add whatever I need. Now if I go back to product development is down here so I can add a task or add a section. So I'm going to add a section first about research um, and see how it's got the colon there. The colon is the indication that it will be a section not a task. Um, so I could interview um, 10 um, relevant people. Um, okay, so in here, in all the details, I could put a due date to be end of next week. There you go. Um, and really, it's as simple as that. Um, I could assign it to me. Um, now, I'm in there, but I've also got my Gmail address in there. So just for the sake of saying, I'm going to assign it to that person. Um, description um, interview people who um, resonate with the uh, 
call out. Okay, so that would be there. And if I wanted to, I could put a link to the questions that I'm going to ask, or I could paste them in. Um, I could um, design into the questions would be another task. Um, and then I could collate the information. So then I would um, uh, let's make a section and I'll put a colon there. So as soon as I do that, it adds a section. Um, and you know, off I go and you can add in all these as many as many sections as you want and as many tasks as you want. So interview uh, in here, um, I could also then see this button here, add a subtask. Um, so for all of these tasks, um, I can um, post in Facebook group one, I can post oh, in group two, um, yeah, and add extra tasks. I can assign that to someone um, and I can say, um, let me know when there are 10 people uh, signed up or something like that. Um, and then, you know, all of, and that, the, the lovely thing about this is that you've got all of your information on this side, you've got your task, your set, your sections on this side, and then the details of each task and subtasks in here. But you can add these conversations. So if, it's a bit confusing, but I think one of these early wildies is my earlywildie.com email address and one is um, my early at gmail address so that's why it's a bit confusing but um, all of that is in there and they will get anyone that you assign this task to will get an email that says this is what you're doing and, and copies of the conversation. Um, now the other thing about here there's the due date you can add a file so you can add from any of these places um, for example the interview questions um, can be linked there and um, you can attach it there so it kind of saves all of the the you know previous project management tools for entrepreneurs have often been in lots of different places whereas this can have all of your email all of your documents all of your task management in one place so it's making life a lot simpler um, you can attach things so more actions you can delete the task you can delete the subtask you can convert this task to a project if you get way too many subtasks in there you can copy the task url and post it someone else you can merge tasks um, so there you go that's all of that in there um, and so under this product development um, we now have you can see here conversations it might have been had calendar so the 29th is when that's due um, progress made um, so I could click green the project is on track and update it progressing or not on track um, and then you can tag you can even tag this remind me to update the status every Friday and send all my a reminder to do that um, so there's four tasks remaining none have been completed um, so you get that very nice visual idea of how it's going. You can check all the files there. And that's just for one part of that. So you can see how nice that is in terms of having access to all of that information. So that's kind of all the, the panels and how they work. So this is where all your projects are listed. Um, this is where the projects have their detail and then this panel here is where you can add even more detail and have the conversations and files so just to go into a few more little details um, when you have your um, projects down the side here you can assign colors I don't know if you can see but down here there are colors just on the side so these are my the red ones here sports day um, are actually for the school um, so they're a different color and I can was one that doesn't have uh, Lucy's birthday so that I might if I right click on that 
and I, I can just normal click on that I can set the highlight color so because um, I've got see the one below it is home projects is purple I might make Lucy's birthday a purple so that had um, I've doesn't have anything in it at the moment because I have done all of those things um, but I can copy it and use it as a template um, because there's nothing in there because I've completed everything I wonder if it will show me yeah completed tasks um, are all there so unless because I haven't deleted anything I've just completed it um, it should show me all the things that I've done so it was a Peter Rabbit party and these are all the things that I I had in my project for it um, so they're all archived so I can use that as a template for the next party all the things that I had to do um, so that's a really nice little feature for that um, so you can add a color um, so that everything can be color coded and that will happen in your calendar when you go up to calendar um, the colors will be there as they need to be um, not that I have any in there at the moment um, but that's that's in there so you can also click on tasks that are upcoming and deadlines and you can change the order um, of these if you need to you can add a task you can check your inbox to see if there's been any conversations um, you can search for um, tasks for conversations for anything um, and that's kind of cool as well so the other things that I wanted to show you let me just check on my list you can drag these if you need to reorder them um, and keep them in color code order um, that's fairly easy so over here is the settings so if I go to uh, my profile settings here are um, I didn't write that um, so there's the two email if you ever get <clears throat> the the notifications for conversations or tasks that you've been assigned um, you can say that you get task reminders um, or all activity conversations updates um, plus a weekly dashboard um, and the from email is a really nifty little trick so if you email say early at mail.asana.com it from your email you can send a task to Asana and the subject line will be the task name the body will be in the description and you can attach anything and you can CC people so that will automatically create a task straight from your inbox if you need to um, account information display information can depends on what picture you want or whether you want it plain um, and that's that's all there so that's quite um, fun kind of features so I mean this is a really simple way of using it um, I'm I have a lot of my information in Evernote so I'm sort of still in the process of um, putting templates in here because that's I think Asana will be great with templates and better for collaborating with people which is not as much um, in my business at the moment but I do love it for brainstorming um, I can put my I've got my editorial and managing my editorial calendar um, in terms of you know what I want to get out in my newsletters and blogging each month planning that so I can be ahead of the game and know what I have to write each time and I can just you know do dot points um, how to set it up and you know as I go I can write write it in and and off I go um, so that's um, how you can a really simple way of setting up and getting into Asana um, it just takes a bit of time to play around and start putting your things into all your tasks and ideas but once you get into it I think you will love it so if you have any questions about it send me an email I'd love to talk to you about it or help you set it up if that's what you want to do um, I'm Early from EarlyWieldy.com um, I will see you another time see you soon thank you bye